So, what is going on guys? KB's Vlogs here. Today, I'm gonna analyze and show you guys the artwork that I chose. So, come on guys and join me in my artwork journey. Today guys, this is the art that I chose, the fruit cutter by Fernando Amorzola. So interesting, huh? So the analysis that I will do is by describing and introducing the life of author. And of course, we will discuss to the medium, the subject matter, the elements of principle, and the judgment interpretation of this art. So stay tuned guys. Who is Fernando Amorcelo? The Philippine artist Fernando Amorcelo, 1892-1972, was a portraitist and painter of rural landscape. He is best known for his craftsmanship and mastery in the use of light. Fernando Amorcelo was born May 30, 1892, in the Paco district of Manila. At 13, he was apprenticed to the noted Philippine artist Fabian De La Rosa, his mother, first cousin. In 1909, Amorcelo enrolled at the Liceo de Manila and then attended the Fine Arts School at the University of the Philippines, graduating in 1914. After working three years as a commercial artist and part-time instructor at the university, he studied at the Escuela de San Fernando in Madrid. For seven months, he sketched at the museum and on the streets of Madrid, experimenting with the use of light and color. That winter, he went to New York and discovered the works of the post-war Impressionists and Cubists, who became the major influence on his work. On his return to Manila, he set up his own studio.
let's continue our blog in the analysis of the art fruit cutter of Fernando Amorzolo. The first is subject matter. The subject matter of this art is Fernando Amorzolo in 1950 entitled Fruit Gutter that depicts a woman sitting under a bamboo tree holding a winnowing basket full of fresh fruits. It also portrays of the everyday lives of a lady living in the province where fruits, vegetables, and other edible things can be found fresh. Second is medium. The medium of this art is the main artist used oil paint and canvas fabric which exists physically while I use digital photography where the image can see through a digital device the subject of the artwork also differs like the original one uses fruits while the imitation uses gadgets and the third is elements and principle the elements and principle of this art is the elements of this artwork are line, shape, color, texture, form, space, and value. And also the principle of this artwork is balance, emphasis, movement, proportion, rhythm, unity, and variety. And as you can see, Fernando Amorzolo completes the elements and principle of arts in one artwork only. How amazing is that? Last is interpretation or judgment in this art Fernando Amorzolo's work in paint is stunning because you can see the intricacy in every painting he did as well as all the components and principles he placed into one painting so hello guys I'm back at it again I hope you like and learn something new in my video and special thanks to DepMed for inviting me to make this vlog so that's all guys, I hope you learned something new. Thank you, bye!